Vauxhall needs more of a competitive presence in the industry's fastest growing segment, that for small trendy SUVs. And courtesy of PSA Engineering, this second generation Mocha model provides it. There's nothing that changes the class norm here, but we can't remember a more visually appealing Vauxhall in recent memory. The styling of this Mark II Mocha suggests that it might have set out to meet the higher standards recently set for small SUVs when it comes to ride and handling. That's a new bar set by more recent class entrants like the second generation Nissan Duke and most notably Ford's Puma. But underneath all the jaunty panel work, uh, everything here is pretty much the same as with two segment rivals not especially known for their dynamic drive, Peugeot's 2008 and the DS3 Crossback. The Vauxhall's engineers wanted to create a slightly sportier confection here is evidenced by the slightly firmer ride that you will notice in the first half mile or so in driving this car. But it seems that there wasn't really the time, the money or the inclination to finish the job because the close body control, the poise at speed and the responsive steering that this mucker would need to fully rival a Puma or even a Duke are all missing here. Still, the fashionista target market for this car probably won't care very much about that. And what we do have is, of course, a massive improvement on the first generation Mocha model. It's also, perhaps more relevantly, uh, an improvement on this car's small SUV showroom stablemate, the Crossland. There are no surprises beneath the bonnet, uh, not if, mindful of this car's Stellantis Group sourced engineering, you're expecting a carryover from the Peugeot 2008 anyway. If you're looking for a combustion engine, there are three choices, uh, two petrol and a single diesel. The least powerful unit is a 1.2 litre turbo petrol power plant with 100 PS uh, and that's mated to a six speed manual box. The same PureTech sourced three cylinder unit can be had with 130 PS in which guys you can optionally specify an eight speed automatic gearbox. If you are one of the few customers in this segment that still wants a diesel, there's a 1.5 litre black pump fueled unit with 110 PS which uses a six speed manual gearbox. Like the Peugeot 2008 and the DS3 Crossback, this mocker sits on the PSA Group's latest CMP platform, which means that as with those models, you can have a full electric variant, the Mocha E, and as with the E2008 and the DS3 Crossback e tense, the powertrain in question uh, features a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and a front mounted electric motor which puts out 135 PS and 260 Newton meters of torque. Vauxhall claims the Mocha E will be able to cover a WLTP rated range of 209 miles on a single charge and it can replenish itself from a 7 kilowatt home wall box in 7.5 hours or just 30 minutes uh, to 80% with a 100 kilowatt DC rapid charger. Well, this is different, isn't it? The name may not have changed, but everything else has, not least the way the Mocha looks. Out go the anonymous proportions and bland curves of the previous model. In comes a confident stance with a square-jawed face, sharp lines and interesting details. Let's start at the front where the appearance is dominated by the visor grille, which rings the headlamps, the badge and the front panel running between the lights. Move in profile and what we've got here is the archetypal modern small crossover. All sweeping creases, colour coded finishing and big wheels. A key flourish is this trimming strip that flows uh, above the upper window line. Normally finished as here in chrome but it's marked out in red on the SRI premium model. The rear plays a similar styling trick to the front, making the car look wider than it actually is. The slender, sculpted LED taillights play a key role, as does the well-spaced out mocker name that sits above the crease running through the tailgate. So the exterior has grabbed our attention. Are things as engaging inside the cabin? Let's step inside and find out. Now, if you're switching from the original Mocha, you might think you've skipped a couple of model generations. So different is this cabin. The first thing you'll probably note is what Vauxhall calls the pure panel, a facial design that sees this high-mounted central touchscreen and this driver instrument display to the right of it almost bonded together, respectively 10 and 12 inches in size on the plush models, angled towards you and styled to give the impression of one large monitor. Everything else is far more sophisticated too, particularly in terms of switch gear and trimming. The shiny piano black lower centre console finishing, for example, and the smart white double stitching on the doors. 
Plus, despite the sporty exterior looks, there's a proper, slightly raised SUV seating position, and that gives the more commanding feel that crossover customers like. Plus, there's reasonable cabin storage space and most of the connectivity features that you'll want to. Yeah.